Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a new video from Linguamid. In this episode, we will talk about a serious topic, a question that I have been getting many, many times from my online community and my students about modern Sun Arabic and Egyptian Arabic, which to choose and what are the implications and what are the consequences of choosing each root and what are the typical uses of each of these variants. Watch along, I will keep um, talking about this and answering all these questions and more, so stay with me. First of all, let's talk about Arabic as a language. You have three variants, three very important variants of Arabic out there, okay? The first variant is the classical Arabic. The classical Arabic is an art, a typical form of Arabic language that's not used today, either in the street or in the media or so. It's just on the some scripts, and of course the most important script of all is the Holy Quran for Muslims, and this type of language, it has many difficult, it's Arabic, pure Arabic language, of course, it has many difficult words that are not used right now by Arabs, but we learn them as Arabs in school and learn to, um, to know them, and especially Muslims, so classical Arabic is one important form and it has its own students, of course, and its own followers. The second important form is modern standard Arabic. So modern standard Arabic is actually the written text of most of the scripts, of nearly 99% of the scripts in Egyptian, in um, Arabic, not only in, e in Egypt, but in all the Arab countries. And also it is a formal Arabic language for news and for um, many events that had a formal sense or a formal, formal nature, okay? So modern standard Arabic, if you speak in modern standard Arabic, you expect that many people will follow you, especially the educated. And this is very important, this word keep uh, focusing about this word educated because we will return to it afterwards. So modern standard Arabic is an educated language. It's a language for the elite who know Arabic and it's not easy. Not anybody in the street can speak modern standard Arabic. We learn it in school from a young age. The third one, of course, is the dialects. The dialects is like in any language, is the language of the streets, okay? So people speak in dialects on daily basis, okay? So if you ask any person on the street about any of the topics are in, in Arabic, you expect that he will answer you in dialect, in his own or her own dialect. A dialect change. In each country you have many dialects and in, in the Arab region you have different dialects for each country and different dialects in each country, okay? So you need to know the three that there are three forms, the classical Arabic, modern standard Arabic, and the dialects. The second important thing, okay, modern standard Arabic and dialects. Okay, let's now um, focus on the later two, okay? So uh, modern standard Arabic and um, the dialects, because the, the classical Arabic, it has its own root, and people who want to learn classical Arabic, as we said, they want to learn it because they want to uh, study religion or have some kind of studies that require uh, classical Arabic or have some kind of field of study that is on classical Arabic. Okay, there are many um, uh, certificates on classical Arabic uh, on its own. Okay, so modern Arabic and dialects. Modern Arabic, as we said, it's a written language for texts. Books are written in modern standard Arabic. News are written in modern standard Arabic, okay? So all the newspapers, sorry, and all these are in modern standard Arabic. And also if you are following up with any formal event, a re religious event, event, political event that is formal in nature, very formal, you will, it will be in modern standard Arabic. Okay, on the other hand, what is the, uh, the applications of the dialect? Dialect is the spoken language on the street. So people who are on the street, a normal people, simple people, they talk in, on the, um, in their own dialects, okay? They don't talk in modern standard Arabic. You will find some people know modern standard Arabic because some people, of course, have some knowledge about it from school or they uh, read a lot, so their modern standard Arabic level is really good, but you don't expect anybody to have this knowledge. If you can talk in modern standard Arabic about few sentence and all, you can find some people answer and some people will not answer, will find it difficult or may laugh because they find it um, a bit bizarre or a bit, a bit let us say, um, difficult, unusual 
uh, for them or weird to listen to this language as a spoken language. Okay, dialects, it's a spoken language, modern Standard Arabic, it's a formal language and it's a written language as well. Now let's move to the last part of this video. Okay, if I'm learning Modern Standard Arabic or I have good knowledge in Modern Standard Arabic and I'm visiting an Arab land, I talk in Modern Standard Arabic, what would the people react? Would they understand all what I'm saying? Actually, not all, okay? Only the educated will understand you and even though they will not be able to run a complete conversation with you because Modern Standard Arabic is really a big language. They speak in their own dialect and they expect to run a conversation in their own dialect. This is most com the most comfortable situation for them. So if you want to learn, you learn the dialect of the country or as I would say a more, let us say, um, a smarter choice is to learn a dialect that's understood in almost all Arab countries like Egyptian dialect. Egyptian dialect is understood in all Arab countries because of the media along 100 years or so so or so so people will understand most of your say, what you say and also follow up with you in Egyptian and want to hear Egyptian from you so Egyptian dialect is very important if you are visiting Egypt and also very important if you are visiting other Arabic countries so I hope after watching this video you have an idea about modern standard Arabic and the dialects and what to choose when and what's your smarter choice and the significance of the Egyptian dialect as a master key dialect that can be understood in many countries. If you have any question about this topic, just write me a comment below and also don't forget to uh, sign up for my uh, completely free Egyptian Arabic 101 course. You'll get uh, a basic understanding of the Egyptian dialect and don't forget also to check my um, videos on the channel and look at the description box for my blog, interesting articles about Egypt and Egyptian Arabic and also many other useful resources. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in a future video.